More than mere ghost stories, tales of people encountering shadow people have been circulating for ages, but the most unsettling part is just how similar all of the stories are. Thousands of people have reported seeing these paranormal creatures, yet we don't know what they are or what they want. All we know for now is that they are truly terrifying. Here are 10 creepy encounters people had with shadow people. Number 10 is the robed monk. On August 4th, 2010, a story was posted on ParanormalSource.com that detailed the constant haunting of a man named Victor by a shadow person. The story was written by the man's brother-in-law, Adam Norton, who relayed the tale of a dark hooded figure that kept manifesting before Victor throughout his entire life, regardless of where the man lived, and it seemed it would follow him from place to place. The shadowy being is described by Victor as appearing as an old monk in a robe, though seemingly made entirely of darkness. It never speaks or makes much noise at all, electing to simply stare at the man with eyes he cannot see. Despite the eeriness, Victor claims he's now used to seeing this shadow monk, dismissing its presence as just a part, however terrifying, of his everyday life. Number 9 is the Puzzle Game. In September of 1997, after purchasing a kid's puzzle game called Alchemist, a young boy began encountering a pitch black hooded figure with no arms or legs in his waking life. The game itself had an image of a skeleton wearing a black robe, so he quickly dismissed his first run-in with the shadow person as simply fear brought on from that image. However, the figure returned three more times, each time seemingly able to control the boy's emotions and terrify him into a paralyzed state, or bring with it the overwhelming smell of decay. Then, in 2013, nearly 15 years later, the hooded man returned. However, this time, he brought with it a rancid smell that managed to physically shake him, and gave off the sound of chains rattling as it did so. What kind of puzzle game curses you with a shadowy attacker? Number 8 are Purple Eyes. A Florida woman known only as Caitlin has been seeing shadow people for most of her life, starting when she was only six years old, and one would approach her on a nightly basis, peeking around the corner from the hallway before slowly moving closer while she laid in bed, paralyzed in fear. Soon she could tell when it was coming, and began hiding under her covers, but still she could feel it at the edge of her bed. This kept happening into her adult life, with multiple shadow people often showing up until one day in 2014 when she had an encounter with something different. Waking up due to the sounds of her sleeping boyfriend whimpering, Caitlin quickly spotted a figure standing in her closet, one that was pitch black with glowing purple eyes. Despite her experience with shadow people, she cannot explain what it was. Number 7 is Luca. In 2008, Reddit user LuckJess112 was temporarily living in a house in England while her home was being renovated. Almost immediately, she began seeing a shadowy figure walking along the hallways of the home, exiting one bedroom and moving along past her bedroom before abruptly vanishing. The figure never seemed to notice Jess, gliding along as if in a daze of its own. She began calling the shadow man Luca, named after the enforcer from The Godfather, as, although she couldn't make out any features, the figure appeared to be wearing a bulky overcoat and a fedora. Jess began researching the house that she was staying in, only to find that in the 1990s, the building was a drug den, where heroin users went to shoot up, meaning the shadow man could be the ghost of someone who overdosed. Number 6 is Soul Reaping. 
An unidentified woman woke up one night to find a shadow person in equally dark robes waiting for her by her bed. Before the encounter, she'd begun feeling waves of negativity emanating from the mirror and her closet in her bedroom, but had dismissed it quickly. That was until that night when she found herself staring at the black form of the figure and she realized she shouldn't have. Unlike many other tales of shadow people attacking the living or simply creeping them out by standing in the room with them, this shadowy figure offered out its hand as if requesting that the woman take it and give in to whatever agenda the creature had. After she refused to take the figure's hand, the creature advanced and the woman could feel her soul being lifted up and away. She screamed no and begged it not to take her and luckily this time it obliged. Number five is the Shadow Cowboy. If you've ever driven around a rural area, odds are pretty good that you've seen one of those solid black, life-sized wooden cutouts of cowboys leaning on a tree, as they're seemingly everywhere. So when a young woman named Marianne R. came upon a tall silhouette of a cowboy in the woods near her home one day, that's exactly what she believed it to be, thinking her neighbor had put it there. The figure had no discernible features, as if completely hidden by shadow, despite it being daytime. However, as she slowly neared the cowboy, she began feeling more and more terrified and soon realized it wasn't a wooden cutout at all, but some kind of shadow person. Marianne would encounter the strange creature numerous times after that, but always avoided it for fear that it would do her harm. Number four is the real reason we moved. When Reddit user Semper Fidelis 7 was just four or five years old, a shadowy figure began appearing in his older brother's room. The brother's friends refused to hang out there, as many of them had felt the apparition staring at them and were terrified of what its intentions were. One day while playing hide and seek, Semper hid in his brother's closet, only to feel a hand on his shoulder. Just a few days later, while playing in the older brother's room, the boys were interrupted by the closet door bursting open and a tall, dark shadow man walking out. The boys escaped unharmed, but years later, long after they'd moved out of that house, it was revealed that a man's body had been found in that closet in the 1970s and that this was the real reason that they'd moved. Number three are green squiggly lines. One night, a woman known only as Blair E. awoke in her bed to find that she was no longer alone in the room. Standing before her was a tall figure that she later described as a black quivering mass with these dark, ugly, green squiggly lines through it. A university student, Blair was living in an apartment in Lismore, Australia at the time of the encounter, which turned quickly sinister as the ghostly figure suddenly attacked her, at one point completely engulfing her with its shadowy form. She managed managed to escape the creature, but that wasn't the end of it. The following night, Blair stayed over at her boyfriend's house when she was awoken by her phone ringing. Her roommate was calling in the middle of the night to inform her that a ghostly visage of shadow with green lines had entered her room. Number two is the devouring hurricane. One night back in 1993, writer Matt Cardin was in his northern Texas home in a sleep so deep that he claims it was more like a coma than the usual slumbering people do at night. It was around 3 in the morning when he suddenly awoke to find himself unable to move at all. Standing over his bed looking down at him was a dark figure whose features couldn't be made out. Somehow, Cardin knew that the shadow person was responsible for his paralysis and almost immediately after seeing it, the man became became panicked, nauseated by the rapid buildup of dread that consumed him. Cardin described the spirit as a vortex of darkness and was certain in that moment that it was there to destroy him like a devouring hurricane. Fortunately, it wasn't the writer's end, but the experience haunts him to this day. And number one is Carson Street. 
After her roommate abruptly moved out of their apartment on Carson Street in Edinburgh, Texas, an unidentified woman decided to move into the vacated room, only to be welcomed by the same paranormal activity that forced the former tenant out. She began feeling like something was watching her, could hear furniture being dragged around, and kept seeing shadows move on their own. A shadowy figure often appeared and proceeded to haunt her, leaving scratches on her and her boyfriend's bodies, and whispering profanity in their ears. The paranormal activity grew in intensity, with TVs turning on and off on their own, an entity leaping onto her bed with her, and at one point entangling her in her own bed sheets. Fearing that things would escalate to a dangerous level, the haunted woman quickly moved out.